Uh, but first, I want to talk about a New York woman who's giving back in one of the most mouthwatering ways. At the start of the pandemic, her work as an art director dried up, so she turned to her first true love for comfort, pizza. I love pizza. She start, we have a lot of pizza, I have children. Um, she started baking free pies for people in her building who were first responders um, out of work or simply just down in the dumps. Um, and it grew from there. Her apartment has become a full blown pizzeria. Now, not only is she selling pizzas, but she's continuing to get fresh pies to people in need. Let's talk with this generous pizza queen. What's up, Miriam, how you doing? Hi, Kelly. It's nice to meet you. It is nice to meet you as well. We, I, I know where you're from when you call a pizza a pie. Um, so <laughs> I, I love pizza, but you really love it, right? Yeah, I mean, for as long as I can remember, I've always loved it. I was basically born into pizza, and uh, for the past eight years, I've been giving pizza tours as a paid hobby because I also was a freelance art director. So uh, right before the pandemic hit, I had been doing corporate tours and I lost all of those jobs, including my freelance work and left with the only thing that made me happy, which was baking pizza. Uh, so I put up actually this sign in my uh, apartment building and I started making pizza for people in the building for free and in a way to to stay happy while we were on lockdown here in New York. That's so sweet. And you you just started giving them, making the pizzas and giving them away, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like there wasn't much to do, and it was like watching the news all day, and I'm like, well, most of the people in my building lost their jobs, and there was an elderly woman on the first floor and a family, and then somebody's like, can I pay a pie forward? I'll help you pay for the supplies, and once that person did that, people from outside of the buildings and then other parents, everyone's just started asking if they could buy pizzas or just donate whatever they wanted for them, so it grew from doing four pies a day to 16 pies a day, and um, and, I, and I'm running this all through the Zara report on Instagram. So it's been a, an amazing, tasty adventure so far. That's, I mean, yeah, what a way to pivot during a, a pandemic. That's awesome. You, you have a much more personal reason for doing all of this, right? Yeah. So in tough times, my mother always told me to do good for others in the event that, you know, you're going through something rough. So in the midst of all this, my mom is actually one of the people that uh, wound up with COVID. And after five weeks, she passed away. So um, the inside of every box that goes out, um, I actually put, you can see in here, a little for mom. Um, okay. So a lot of people come not just for the pizza, but uh, just because it's kind of a nod to my mom. And I say that every, every pie I bake is like a beat of her heart. So, um, you know, I wish she were here, you could enjoy it. But like, for me, I want to pull together and and fulfill this dream of opening a pizzeria in her honor and continue to feed people who need pizza, free pizza. Well, that, I mean, woo, that was really I know, really you got sweet. me a little bit too. I know, I was like, oh my gosh, Miriam, it's the beginning of the show. It's fine. Um, that, it's just such a beautiful story and what a way to honor her and, and what a way to take her advice and really um, help and honor others as well. Um, cause <laughs> it's not a simple thing. We all got tired of cooking every meal <laughs> when you couldn't order <laughs> at some point. So I'm sure everybody loved that you were making at least one meal for them a day. Um, but thank you so much. It's a beautiful story and, and, and a, a marvelous way to, to pivot. Like I said, during a really hard time. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, thank that you was Kelly. really, really beautiful. <laughs>